Hello everybody and welcome to Christmas Closure on a train sim world on the Xbox One. With London Paddington closed due to engineering works, you've been called on to assist with the trains being turned back at Ealing Broadway. Okay, so off we go. Let's go find our train and follow directions. So yeah, I know it's not Christmas time. We're coming into the springtime, but never mind. So does that snow look like snow is it a bit like still to you but anyway okay so yeah um this is another part of our train videos uh look just going running along a few of the scenarios within the game so we've tried a few others so let's take a look at this one have a look outside taking in the graphics there i was just looking at the reflections there uh one of the good things about all these simulator games is focusing on let's say the graphical but it's also about the gameplay and uh, so we are playing on the X or within the high quality settings of that weekend so here comes our train and we're going to take it to the first stop and see how well we do uh, to be honest you know I've made a few other train videos uh, but I haven't really have much practice in between time in between the, all the other videos uh, time is a factor if you know if having to play the games and do the videos it's a bit of a chase up sometimes but here we go so we're going to see how well we do in within this one and hopefully we'll be able to drive the train quite well even though we only much practice that's half the fun of it I like that. Local knowledge, eh? Never even been there, but apparently we've got strong local knowledge. <laughs> okay, so we're inside the train, so here we go. Let's unlock the door for the passengers. We don't really need that wiper going. Where's the wiper? I uh, believe this one it is. Yeah, there we go. So that's, uh, we're in part, so let's put the wipers in part. Okay, let's go take a little look inside our train here. So here we go, and walk through the doors. Magic. Just like magic. Well, they look quite cozy seats. Might, oh, hold on, where'd he go? Have you ever seen a passenger disappear like that? <laughs> Bridge for a ghost train, or not? Uh, right, okay, go through the doors. Look at that, that's quite magic as well. Yes, very posh. A bit of wallpaper. And you want a bit of wallpaper in them with uh, Great Western Railway. Okay, we're off to the standard class now. And we have to keep an eye on the passenger loading time there, make sure all our passengers are loaded up. So at least we've got a nice clean, tidy train, that's a good thing. That night like having a clean, tidy train. And, oh, well, quick, but hurry up now, back to the driver's side seat and get this train all finished up and ready to go. Okay, quick, run, 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 here we go. Nice sunset. Yep, never mind about that. Let me get close the door. Head into our seat. Why is it the driver's seat always seems the worst one of the lot on the train? <laughs> okay, so here we go. Let's do the guard buzz on. Let it try. Okay, we want to do this one, don't we? No, get the right one. That's it, forward. No, not engine off, forward. That's better. Okay, release the brakes. And we'll give it to throttle number two as per instructed. There we go. Hey, look at that, off we go. Hopefully, we can give the patches a nice ride. Let's take a look from the outside. There we go. I do think this is one of the better ones graphically with the winter effect. That's a definite for me. I think because you get the sun reflection, obviously the snow does add that little extra effect to it. And that's all well and good. Once you know, how many trains do we see running in these sort of conditions? That's not really the answer to that. <laughs> so our journey isn't one of the uh, longest journeys. We've got 12 miles to our destination. So let's see if we can get there nice and smoothly, hopefully we will. Okay, 
So we're coming out the station and we will sort of include, inc include? <laughs> increase the speed as we go slowly. Trying to make it a nice smooth ride for our passengers. Because don't want to complain. Don't need letters of complaints to the management, do we now? Okay, now I'm not going to try something towards the end. I'm just going to try and to see. I know we're not anywhere near the end yet. If we can actually slow the cane train down naturally, so let's take a look at some of the other buttons here. Train supply. Now, got two two dojos there. We can't really do anything with them. What else we got? DRA buttons and not a lot there. By looks it. Nope. The engine start and the engine start off. So we don't really want to do anything uh, about that. <laughs> As a guide, as we saw earlier, okay, and the AWS the horn and the fan. Now it's getting a bit cold in here, so I'm going to warm it up. There okay. we go, climate control. There, let's increase that. Uh, we don't want any too cold and steam the window up. Yes, okay, I'm being a bit silly, but that's to the fun of the game. <laughs> so off we go. So we're on the max one now on the throttle as we can see by the red indicator on the uh, speed out onto our maximum speed that we can go so taking whoa okay is that the bridges whoa we did it again must be linked to the bridges it don't like the bridges <laughs> okay let's change that camera there we go how about that one yeah oh, i think that's actually pretty good now when the first came out there were a few uh, glitches within some of these sort of settings and when I did the update on the Xbox and it has been a lot better since so I'm pleased that they sorted out that pretty quickly hopefully we'll be able to add some extra trains and tracks onto the Xbox world soon obviously you don't know I might be just sort of uh, seeing how it goes within the um, sales and see if it's worth them adding to the extras Obviously, you know, we have got this on the PC, you know, I've never actually played it on the PC, Lexa does, Lexa's played this on the PC, but we've had a few extra of the DLC packs on the, tr on the computer, we've never really done any videos via the computer though, we tend to just stick to the console games. Okay, so taking a look around here, we're going quite smoothly still, we've still got green lights ahead, so that's all good. 9.1 miles to our destination. And so we're only going to take this video out to the first stop, and uh, we'll see how this goes, if you, as you go past the station, a bit late, but there we go. <laughs> I suppose you should do it as you're approaching the station maybe. Or a crossing, of course, if you're approaching a crossing, just to warn anybody, there we go so yeah if you know I don't know which worlds which worlds which maps you've enjoyed so far if you've got any of the others that you'd like us to do uh, you know I can continue within the next stop or two etc depending on how long they are so you know I quite like this map you know the train's quite nice uh, got quite good scenery and so we're still on green lights. Yep, we're all good. Control's all good. But sometimes I, I do have a bad habit of um, yep, station. Hello everybody. I hope it's not night time. <laughs> I do have a habit of fiddling around with the controller on the Xbox and then I end up pushing on I suppose wrong button is the right word and sort of cutting the engine off or putting the emergency brakes on or something like that and I keep thinking stop fiddling it's just going well so just leave it alone and the old sunset over there it just looks a bit like that old sun that was time mate <laughs> so I do have a, a tendency to fiddle and I think this kind of game sometimes it's, if it's going well it's best to leave alone and that's why I have to remind myself sometimes that's why I fiddle around between the cameras <laughs> right now but I do like this front camera I think that is a good view and I think it's important you know to enjoy the 
extras around off the graphical side of it. Yeah, you can sit in a cabin all the time, of course, uh, playing the game. I well, think it's good to have a little look at what else is out there. Okay, but it's getting a bit cold out there, so we will have to watch our speed and keep it within the limits. Now we bring it now we're near, near the uh, max speed, we can bring it to idle, just sort of let it coast along and we can always increase it if it gets a bit low just to keep the top side. Now we're only by 4.7 miles away now from our destination so we're not too far. You know when you're about, I don't know, uh, two miles, one and a half mile out, you can to need to seriously start thinking about it won't be long before you're going to reduce your speed anyway. So I've noticed within about one mile it is really a point where you really have to start bringing the train to a slower stop anyway. So I've noticed this on the other videos. So I tend to aim around a mile and then reduce the speed of the train. Obviously a lot of people probably do it a bit before that, so depending on how much time you've got, etc. Okay, so as I say, I do like the trees on this one in the buildings. The snow does add that little extra on there. <laughs> so there's me saying about when I'm doing the controls. I just did it there. <laughs> and yeah, but obviously as I say, we're we're going to increase and we'll just bring it steady at the moment so we're 2.3 miles out so we're running well we're running okay and we've got an amber light but we should be okay for that just keep an eye on the speed making sure we are running nicely and obviously all where we got to be prepared to stop so it will be coming up quite soon rather than later so we just have to bear that in mind okay so we let the train sort of slowly down we can always speed it up so you know you've never any worries about that so I'm going to see how I do with this, I've never really, I kind of panicked, <laughs> not panicked, that's the wrong word, applied too much to this. Look, oh, staying there, count the yards, how are we going to do? We're on full break at the moment, that's right up there. I might not get this perfect, I'm just trying here, so if I need to apply a bit of power, that moment me, first time I've really tried to roll, roll the train in naturally. So I don't expect this to be perfect, but it'd be quite good for me if I do. Oh, well we're in the red zone. So we would have at least made it into the station. A little bit more, a little bit more, can I go forward a little bit more? Yeah, <laughs> it's allowed me to do that. So I've managed to half roll it in there quite okay in its objective plea. So thank you very much and say this is the first stop in the winter closure. So there's a little look at it and uh, if you want me to continue on this map let me know. Thank you very much for watching. I am Maxwell Selector. Bye.